Welcome to Ink It Up with Jessica TV. I'm Jessica Taylor and in this episode I'm going to show you how to do the spotlight technique with designer series paper. So basically what it is is you're taking one piece of designer series paper, pattern paper, scrapbook paper, pretty paper, whatever you call it, and this piece is going to be four inches by five and a quarter inches. This is gonna fit perfectly on the front of your card. And what we're going to do is take some of the layering squares framelits and use that to just cut out a portion of the paper, add a little colored paper behind it, a little colored cardstock to pop it out, and then decorate it as you like. But you can see from the samples I have here that you can make all kinds of different cards depending on the patterns of your paper. So this first one is made with Myths and Magic paper, and all these papers are from Stampin' Up, but you can of course use this technique with whichever patterned papers that you have. And this one I just added a greeting down below, and I did add two layers here. This is actually the card that inspired this technique for me. This is from the Picture Perfect Party Designer Series Paper Pack. And I just highlighted some of the candles and added a happy birthday greeting there. Super easy. And then finally, I took a piece from the Tutti Fruity Designer Series Paper Pack. And this I wanted to show you that you don't have to have like an actual picture on your paper. You can have just an overall background pattern and use that, but you can see how it looks like the fruit slices are kind of tumbling off of this main image that pops out. So let's go ahead and see how these are put together. So I'm going to start by making my Big Shot sandwich to cut out the squares. And I'm going to start with my magnetic platform and then a clear cutting pad. Now you want to make sure that you have one that's pretty flat so that your framelits will stick to the magnets. Um, if your plate starts to get warped, then the framelits aren't going to stick as well. So then I'm going to put my paper right on the magnetic platform and choose which square I'm going to use. Now depending on your pattern, you might want to choose a smaller square or you might want to go with a bigger one. I'm going to choose the second largest one and I'm gonna figure out where I want that on my paper. Now, if I have it centered, it's gonna kinda of cut off parts of heads here. So I'm actually gonna move this up, and I do want it centered on my card. I could put it over that way if I wanted my mermaid more in the center of my square, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the middle because thinking of the layout of my card, I could put a little greeting here that said happy birthday, and I could tie some ribbon down here if I wanted, but basically in this kind of white space here, that's where I would put my greeting. So once you have it set where you want it, you're gonna take another clear cutting pad, put that on top of there, and just run it through your Big Shot. Once you've run it through your Big Shot, you're just gonna take out that center piece, and this is what you're gonna be left with. And this is kind of how you can save on paper. Instead of using another piece of paper, you're just kind of cutting out the center of this. And this is gonna go on your card front. Then I took the next largest square framelit and cut out some Bermuda Bay so that this will layer behind and kind of spotlight that part of the designer series paper. So let me go ahead and show you how I would tape this all together. I like to use my silicone mat underneath where I am putting my tape on because then if I accidentally get tape on it, it doesn't stick to, um, for instance, if you have grid paper or scratch paper underneath where you're stamping, you don't want to get extra adhesive on that. So I'm just going to put my squares together first, like so. Then I'm going to put tape on the back of this piece here. And I like to keep my tape at the edges them in the corners to make sure that my card really stays together. And then this will go on my card front. So my card base is just a piece of cardstock that's five and a half inches by eight and a half inches and then folded in half. So there's my card base. And then you can tape this on straight with just flat adhesive or you could use dimensionals to pop this up a little bit. In this case, I'm just gonna use the snail because that's what I have here. And then I'm gonna center this right over my cutout. So you can see, you wanna line it up so the pattern kind of follows the background there. 
So it just looks like you are spotlighting part of the pretty paper. So then you could embellish this and add a greening as you like. So I hope that you will take some of your designer series papers and try this spotlight technique with them. Thanks so much for watching and if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you're the first to know when new videos come out. Happy stamping!